Thank you very much for coming in. <laughs> and we'll move on to um, item... Girl, do you want to stay for this one? For item 15. So we're going to move to 15. Yeah, we'll do that because we might move your one to after... Because CCHL are on a tight time frame, aren't they? Don't they have investor ratios? Yeah, so we might move you afterwards if that's all right. So we'll go to 15 now. So appointment of elected members to boards of um, CNZ... Um, BO and Civic Building. Did you want... So, so, did you, so did you want to speak to this at all, Gail, or we just move into... Yes, I will. Look, thanks very much. Um, first of all, I'm, it's a different me this time. Um, first of all, let me apologise. Therese has just let us know that she was going to be here for this, but she's unwell. So... Um, here I am. <laughs> um, you've got the paper, and this is about the recommendation for councillor appointments to three entities, Civic Building, um, Christchurch NZ, and Venues Otatahi. We had a small panel, which was Therese, um, the Mayor, and myself, that interviewed the councillor candidates and have come forward with a recommendation which you have got in this paper. I'm not going to go through that in detail, but the recommendation is um, that for Civic Building Limited, uh, James Goff and Sam McDonald are appointed, and Jake McClellan. For um, Christchurch NZ, Victoria Henstock and Jake McClellan, and for Venues Otatahi, Tim Scandrett and Kelly Barber. Now, I'm not sure how you want to deal with that in terms of the council discussion and resolution, but in terms of the recommendation of that appointments committee that you formed, that's what the recommendation across those three entities is. Great. Um, I think we've gone to questions, if anyone's got any questions. Yanni? Sort of a, a high level question, but I thought when we discussed the appointment to the Civic Building Limited, that was one where we thought actually having some independent directors might be Useful, given the significance of that. Has that been considered? Um, no, we haven't. Um, currently it doesn't. It, it is, um, but we can look into that and give advice on that if you would like us to, but we, I don't recall that being requested of us. Sorry, and if I have, I've missed it. Yeah. Does, do, what's that? Oh, Sarah? Wait, I'm sorry. Sarah? Thanks for that. Hey, listen, I'm just wondering, you know, um, the council's been incredibly direct with um, CCHL when it comes to appointments in uh, making sure that diversity in all its forms is being taken into account with appointments. And I'm wondering if there was that criteria um, given to the, the small appointments panel um, by council for the appointments, um, these ones. Um. It certainly was something that the appointments panel considered and considered carefully. Uh, w in some sense, we were bounded by the fact that councillors were given the opportunity to uh, express the boards they would like to go on across those three that we're talking about now. So we were limited to that group. And then we had to try and think about diversity of, I'll call it diversity of thought, diversity of approach, but also uh, looking at the balance and the criteria that each of those entities had for their board appointments, trying to make sure we got the best people on those boards to carry out the function of governance in those entities. But diversity was something we certainly considered, and I guess the, um, the appointments committee believes that they tried to meld that in with getting the best appointments for, for each entity. Okay, is that answered? Yep. Any other questions from anybody? Right, have we got a mover? So, so, so we're going to do these separately. Um, and the reason we're doing them separately, because obviously if you are being recommended, you can't vote for yourself. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. Okay, Celeste. So um, we'll, we'll go back into questions. We'll come, yeah. uh, is, are we still... Doing is, I thought we'd agreed that it was a six-year term limit. Is that not um, the practice anymore? And was that 
Yeah, so what, um, so that is the policy that you've passed, that it was, um, so, but remember we did say if there is a valid reason that they would can be considered longer, so that was um, something that you considered. So did you want to comment on that? Because the two people that would that be affected would be um, Tim Scandrett on venues and James on civic building. Yes. Um, let me deal with the one that I'm most familiar with, which is venues of Tatahi. We've got a relatively new board on venues of Tatahi because in a sense it's only come out of its chrysalis in the last um, year or so. And we were very conscious about having a person there that had institutional knowledge and also had an understanding of the industry. That was going to be really important to us. So what we did with Venues Otatahi, we did, in the case of Tim, think that was important, and that's why uh, his recommendation is there. And we balanced that about getting some new and fresh blood in. And I'm sure these people don't mind me talking about them this way. And that's why uh, Kelly was, we felt important to come on at that stage. So we got that balance of knowledge, uh, history, if you like, also understanding the industry together with new new face, new blood. So we certainly did think about that in, in the case of Venus Otatahi. Uh, I guess pretty much the same really for civic building. Um, we know that there's uh, some interesting negotiations, if I can call it that, going on there around civic building at the moment, and there always will be. Uh, so some knowledge of the past was important, and that's why James was there. Um, we also felt it was important to get new blood on that, and Jake had put his hand up as being interested in that role, uh, and we felt that bringing that new blood in was important, and that was an interesting, a, a, an interesting and appropriate balance to get. So in regards to new blood for the civic building, there, was, there were no other applicants that um, were able to sort of come on board that might offer... We felt that, um, I, I could probably go back and check that, um, can't remember offhand, uh, I think that's right, there were no others, there, there were no others and we felt um, whilst we were looking initially at two, we felt bringing the third one in with Jake bringing that new blood in was really important uh, and that's why it got to that, Celeste. And final question, um, have we sort of, in terms of the appointment process, and you can probably speak to this, one of the considerations of, is of course making sure that there is sort of a balanced workload across mm -hmm. you know, our, our different um, entities yeah. and, and making sure that some individuals aren't overloaded. Was that taken into yes. consideration? And, and that was particularly, I remember, in respect, well, in, in fact for all of them, but particularly I remember that dis we had that discussion in relation to civic building. Um, and... Uh, I think I remember specifically asking Jake that question, how did he feel about the extra load that that might put on him? Um, and he was comfortable with that. And I think we explored that with everyone that we talked to about their, their feeling of knowing that how busy they are around the council table taking on these additional roles. And so we were very conscious of that and trying to get a balance. But also to introduce new blood. We thought that was really important. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it yep. tends to be same old, same old all the time. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Any further questions? Going once, going twice. Okay. Um, we need a mover and seconder for each um, each motion. So for um, 1A, um, Councillor Henstock and McClellan to Christchurch NZ Holdings. Do I have a mover for that? Karen? And Mark? Um, and do I vote on that? We debate on that now and then move through? Yep. Okay. Um, all those in favour say aye. Aye. Um, against? And abstentions? Uh, abstaining. And I'll Sorry. abstain as well. So um, for it, maybe do we want a division for that or do we want hands up? Jay, will you watch it? I'll have a division because it's easier. Yeah. Oh, you're abstaining? And three abstentions. Myself and was it so five? Can we do a division? Just, a division. It'll just be easier. Just the first one. The first, first one. one. So, Hensdorf and Helen can't vote. Uh, Melanie. 
I've got a, just a process question. There's a whole lot of abstentions and there was no debate, so I'm a little confused and I'm picking the public will be even more confused. That was, um, d well, did anyone want to debate? Do we want the movers and seconders for all of them before we go on to debate? I think might be the wise way to do this. Which we've well, done, because didn't we have Aaron and... No, but we need... Do you want Aaron and... Do you, are you happy to both to move a second each? Motion? Yeah. I okay, am. all right, cool. Debate, I guess, on. Yeah, anyone want to debate? So, um, Yanni? I'm just abstaining because I was involved in the process, and I just don't think it's right that people involved in the process should participate in the final outcome. So, it's no criticism of anyone that's been put forward, um, but I just personally don't think that I should participate. Okay, anyone else want to debate? Okay, so, so I'm debating. Okay. Congratulations to Victoria and Jake if this goes through. I think you know, two really good additions to Christchurch NZ, and I think it's a really balanced of council, which is ultimately what the panel have achieved, and two high quality candidates. So thank you for putting your hands up. Uh, you're doing it for free. So it's, uh, you know, I mean, good on you for doing it. <laughs> you wanted to, I'll, I'll go before you. I just wanted to say that I'll be abstaining um, as well, um, mainly on breaking our policy, because um, we were advised quite clearly to have six years, two terms, um, and that came from outside of the council. Um, there was information provided to us at that time. So um, on, on that principle, and I like to stick to my principles, um, I will have to abstain. So, um, Aaron, from A, B and C. It doesn't apply, it's only B and C. I'm still going to abstain from the lot. Um, so, Aaron. Uh, yeah, uh, like Sam, I'd like to thank everyone for putting their hands up to be volunteers on these organisations, um, but it's, the irony's not lost on me when three people apply for three roles when they're volunteer roles. I mean, it is extra work, so I do thank the ones that put their hand up and do the extra work. I have no problem with people doing more than um, six years as well. Uh, I'd just like to say that I think um, Tim's brought a real balance to the VO board over the years and a, and a conduit between the council table and because he has often spoke up even when he couldn't uh, vote on stuff that he knew that was happening so he'd keep us well informed and he has an experience in that industry that goes back many years than he even looks um, so uh, it is good to have that go on to the board so there is some talented people at this table and I don't know that they all put their hands up when they volunteer roles so I'll leave it at that Right, sorry um because Aaron moved it, he's the final one. Sorry about that. We'll vote on which one second. Yeah, we do. So um, we've got same mover and second for all of it. Same, we've had debate. So um, now we'll go into a division, I guess, for the whole for lot. Each, but we'll have to do that for each one. Yeah, each vote one. is separate for each one. So we're going to be voting on A for Christchurch Jens Hint Holdings, Councillor Henstock and McAllen. Okay, so for the first one, the Mayor. Aye. Councillor Cotter. Voting on the first one. I didn't hear my name. Yeah. yeah. Aye. Councillor Barber. Yes. Councillor Coker. Abstain. Councillor Donovan. Abstain. Councillor Fields. Yes. Councillor Goff. Yes. Councillor Harrison Hunt. Yes. The first, the first, the first one. one. Yeah. yeah. Councillor Henstock. No, she can't. She can't. She can't, take can't take vote. Sorry. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Councillor Johansson. Okay. Councillor Kiam. Yes. Councillor McDonald. Yes. Uh, who is the Councillor McCallum? Yes. Abstain. Yes. Sitting back. Sorry, sitting back. Councillor Peters. Yes. Councillor Scandrick. Aye. Councillor Templeton, abstain. Is that correct, Sarah? Abstain. abstain. What about Councillor Moore? Oh, he's not here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, you seven, eight, nine, ten, four, and we have one, two, uh, and we have several abstentions, so that's carried. Congratulations. Yeah. Well done. Second one. Yep. 
No, second one. So we're on to, yeah, B, sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to cheering. Um, so, yeah, second one, Councillor Skendra and Councillor Barber to Venues Otatahi. We've got our same mover and seconder again. Do we want a division this time? Yep, same. <coughs> so Skandra and Barber will be um, second back. Yep. Okay, the Mayor. Aye. Yes. Councillor uh, Collar. Aye. Uh, Councillor Coker. Abstention. Abstaining. <laughs> Councillor Donovan. Councillor Goff? Yes. Councillor Harrison Hunt? Abstain. I'll come to you. <laughs> Abstain. Councillor Field, sorry. Yes. Councillor Henstock? Yes. Councillor Keen? Yes. Uh, Councillor Johansson? Councillor McDonald? Yes. Councillor McFallon? Yes. Councillor Moore? It's not. Uh, here. Here, here. Uh, Councillor Peters Councillor Templeton Epstein Okay, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 and uh, Three, four, five, yeah and that's, so that's carried Great carried, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we're on to um, C, which is um, Civic Building Limited. Same mover and seconder. And um, sorry, David, you have and to get stepping up. Stepping down is standing back from the table is um, Goff, McDonald, and McFarlane. Goff, McDonald, and who was the third one? Jake. Jake. And Jake. The Mayor? Aye. Deputy Cotter? Aye. <laughs> Councillor Barber? Yes. Councillor Coker? Abstain. Councillor Donovan? Abstain. Councillor Fields? Abstain. Uh, Councillor Harrison Hunt? Yes. Councillor Henstock? Yes. Councillor Johansson? Councillor Keon. Yes. Councillor Moore is not here. Councillor Peters. Yes. Councillor Scandrit. Aye. Councillor Templeton abstaining. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, with one, two, three, four, five abstentions, and one. Uh, so that's obviously carried. Carried. Right. Okay, thanks everyone. Um, right, we will now move.